and gentlemen, thank you for standing by. Welcome to the Product Management View Webinar Series. During the presentation, all participants will be in a listen-only mode. If at any time during the conference you need to reach an operator, please press star zero. As a reminder, this conference is being recorded Wednesday, September 23, 2009. I would now like to turn the conference over to Val Workman. Please go ahead, sir. Thank you, Myra. To those participating through ReadyTalk, Twitter, and those who will be receiving or reviewing the webinar on a podcast or flash presentation later, hello. I'd like to welcome you to this new session of the Product Management View Series. I'm Val Workman from Marmot Technology Solutions, one of the sponsors of this webinar. If you'd like to present in this webinar series, you can propose a topic by sending uh, an email message to myself at W-O-R-K-M-A-N-Z, workmanz at rhymatech.com. The PM is all about distributing the shared experiences of the members of our community, and we'd love to communicate and uh, work with you on this. Today, the PMV is the world's largest free repository of product management recordings. I'd like to thank ReadyTalk for their generous support of this community effort and welcome Holly, Holly with us, who's from ReadyTalk, and continues to support our efforts throughout this recording. And I'm sure she'd love any feedback you can provide to her at the end in, in the um, uh, survey as well. I'll be your moderator today, and it's my pleasure to welcome Scott Selhurst, uh, who will be presenting uh, keynote, uh, Kano Analysis. I knew I was going to say that wrong, Scott. How do you no pronounce that? Kano is the way I heard it first uh, when I was introduced to it over in Japan, so I'm guessing it's right since Kano? Professor Kano is Japanese. And, and can you yeah. explain to me who is Tyler Bain? Uh, Tyler, Tyler Blaine is Tyler uh, Blaine. Company, okay. it, yeah, the company I started, uh, I guess, about four and a half years ago now. And uh, and the name comes, actually, Tyler is my wife's family name and middle name, and Blaine is my family name and middle name. Oh, and, <laughs> The, the day we set it up, we weren't exactly sure uh, what we were going to do with Tyner Blaine, and it seemed like one of those good names that you could really map to anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was somebody, so I apologize for that. Uh, so so um, now there's no discussion of who's in charge of the family, right? That was, that was, that, that was my last joke, I promise. Okay, so uh, <laughs> condo analysis uh, is all about an approach for understanding and characterizing market problems, capabilities, competitive analysis, and uh, lots of the other product management activities. And I, I hope that folks in this webinar are going to find it useful. And let me know if uh, you'd like to see more of this type of uh, how-to-do or tactical webinar presentations. Uh, for those of you who are using Twitter, you can follow and add additional conversation and questions by using the Twitter hashtag poundpmv. Uh, during this webinar and continue the conversation after this webinar. Today's Twitter PMV conversations will be posted on, uh, afterwards on the Product Management Views blog post, and I'd like to encourage you to make comments and ask additional questions on this post. I'll also be collecting questions throughout this presentation to address uh, during our question and answer session at the end, and please feel free to uh, send your questions to me in the chat section in the lower left corner of your Ray Talk or through Twitter. And I'm now going to pass the control over to Scott, who will kick off this presentation. Scott? Thanks, Val. And, uh, and thanks, uh, thanks to the folks at ReadyTalk and, uh, and to everybody who's here today. Uh, really excited to talk about Kano analysis and um, really looking forward to your questions and feedback. I think uh, probably the right way to start is to, to give you a, a quick little bit of background about myself so that uh, you guys have some insight into how I was exposed to Kano. Uh, I've been doing the, the software thing for about a dozen years now. Uh, after life as a mechanical engineer uh, and as a design engineer, which is which is where I was exposed to Kano. And uh, the the focus there was really in looking at the trade-offs that you had to make as a designer in terms of understanding which. Uh, attributes or features you're building into your products that people cared about. And, and Kano is a really useful tool for being able to uh, characterize those different types of capabilities and understand their impacts on customer satisfaction and perception. So it's, it's sort of a classification scheme. Um, I've, I've evolved out of, out of the, the honest day's work of engineering into the, the software world and uh